guys, Ballsy here again. We're at the National 4x4 show and we're with the guys from RFI. How are you going, champion? Good self. Thanks, Nick. So, we just want to get a bit of info on aerials. Everyone always asks about aerials, what's inside of them, how they're made, how they work. We just want to find out some key basics on UHF aerials. So, champion? Yes. <laughs> what, how does a UHF aerial work, firstly? And we'll have to speak up because there's so much people, so many people in the background we can't hear each other. So, what is it in an aerial, okay. and then what are the differences in those aerials? Sure. So, the standard um, convention of making antennas, the old style, was using the actual cable, where we cut at different uh, lengths for the different frequencies. Generally, UHF is at 477 megs, as you know. And what RFI did uh, years ago, our engineers looked at it because we manufacture our antennas down in Adelaide and Melbourne. They had a look and said, how can we improve on, on our uh, antenna range? How can we make the performance better? So we, they came up with a patented uh, flexible PC board. So they actually print the circuit on a flexible PC board, as you can see here. And so if you look at, at this flexible PC board, it actually molds inside the, the uh, ray dome. So there's no movement in it. So, yes. so there's no um, wear and tear, if I can put it that way. Whereas the old coaxial cable has got a while. Yeah, it's got yeah. foam in them, yeah. but it still has a little bit of movement. Mm -hmm. And if water ingresses in there, it gets onto the joints, and that's where ours is sort of thing. And um, if you manufacture on a little PC board, our performance is so much better. We can actually, uh, you know, tune it to a 100% to uh, the frequency of 467 type of thing. Our uh, UHF is manufactured with a flexible PC board as well as our cellular range as well, our mobile phones. Okay. Yeah. So guys, one thing that I find I get asked a lot is people come in and their aerial looks fine, but might have been on their truck for three or four years, sometimes five years, and it looks perfectly okay on the outside. The radio is working, we test the voltage on the radio and everything in the radio is working. And it's not an issue with the UHF radio, so they might have a Uniden or a GME or whatever brand it is, but the aerial, over time, that coaxial vibrates around inside of it, and over time it has died. So they don't need a whole new aerial and a UHF, all you need to do is just get a new aerial. And because of that style of design, you can get a little bit more reliability. So if you've got a modern diesel, or you've got an old diesel, it rattles even more, or you're going down a lot of corrugated roads, that style of system will suit that person better. 